How do you acid wash concrete to clean it? You don't. Stop it. Look at me. Stop it. You do not use muriatic acid for cleaning concrete. Professionals use muriatic acid for cleaning concrete. It's like, I don't know if you know what it is, and I think it goes under another, a couple other names that you might know a little bit better, but it's acid. It's like bubbling and hissing and spitting. And if you got one drop of it on you, you got a problem. You don't want to be breathing it. You definitely don't want it in your eyes. You need special equipment in order to handle it. Most places don't even sell it. Look, when they sell it in the bag, they got it like on a Hannibal Lecter dolly and they wheel it out to you. Don't use it. You shouldn't be doing this. There's a reason why concrete pool professionals exist or concrete professionals, swimming pool professionals, anybody who works with concrete, they're trained to work with this stuff. They're supposed to be at the very least. And you know, there's a lot of stuff you got to know, like you can't just use a bunch of it and then just pump it into the closest pond. Like there's a process and you probably don't know it. So, I mean, of all of the things that you're looking up on YouTube, ah, oh, maybe I'll just do this myself. We might've found it. We might've found the very worst thing that you shouldn't be looking up on YouTube how to do. But it is a thing and it does exist and it's something that we use regularly for concrete. And I am in the process of explaining how to bond new concrete to old concrete through a series of videos. And that is something that we work with. And when I'm cleaning concrete, because there's Portland, like no matter how much I brush this, I brush this to death and there's still dust that comes up off of it. And there's calcium that forms and other impurities that could be on there. And I need to get those off. And that's why I use an, a, a mix of approximately seven parts water and one part muriatic acid. And you put that into something like a sprinkling can like this, a plastic sprinkling can, and you, you know, apply it to the area that you're working in. It'll foam and hiss a little bit. It's not overly so because it's a little bit diluted. It's strong, but it's not full strength. And that will eat up all those little bits of Portland and calcium and things that might prevent you from bonding the new concrete to old concrete. And it's important to note that when you're doing something like an acid wash to clean concrete afterwards, your concrete's very acidic. And that's actually one of the things that would cause the bond to fail most readily is having uh, improperly pH balanced concrete that you're trying to apply new concrete to. So if you do an acid wash, after you do an acid wash, you have to neutralize the concrete. And the way that you would do that, or the way that I would do that, I should say, is using something like TSP, where I would make a slurry out of TSP and I kind of clean the whole area down and then I rinse it very thoroughly. And that's the way that I go about cleaning concrete properly so that I can get a secure mechanical and chemical bond with a new application of mortar concrete or something along those lines. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't acid wash.